Good morning, everyone. I would like to talk about the outbreak of uh, the coronavirus. What is uh, technically is known or scientifically is known as COVID-19. And you don't pronounce, of course, you don't pronounce dash, just COVID-19. It started in Wuhan in China. Um, late December 2019 then it spread all over the world like two three months later the the, the coronavirus spread uh, spread all over the world almost all over the world and the impact is uh, fluctuating I mean not all countries were uh, received the same impact of the outbreak of the coronavirus but my uh, my question and I wonder how the virus traveled from Wuhan in China and uh, it is not the case like in, 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 in inside China itself um, it was not the case like Peking Beijing and Shanghai, they were not affected. These two cities were not affected, to my knowledge, to my best knowledge. And like Jordan, uh, uh, like my country, Jordan, uh, other countries, who, which are really very far away from Wuhan, how did the virus arrive? This is a question that needs uh, an answer. Uh, it is really something uh, that puzzling. It is really a puzzle. Uh, but what I know, the fact that I know that the virus is very contagious. I mean, it's very infectious. I mean, it it is very easy, very easy to that it tra uh, travels from one one uh, human being to another or it is transmitted from one human being to another it's, it's very very easy but also there is another fact related to the United States of America and Europe Italy mainly Spain France Germany and the other countries as we all are aware um, Italy is mostly impacted and affected by this virus why because i heard that uh, italian are very close socially than any other nation this is what i uh, heard from uh, from others uh, traditions italian traditions uh, uh, social behavior they are very very close to each other and they were uh, at the first, at the first stage, uh, Italians, especially politicians, they were not uh, giving much, much importance. They, they, they ignored the, the World Health Organization uh, warnings, and they played down the, the, the virus. That's why it spread very fast in Italy and as we see the result there are so 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 many people affected and in hospitals and uh, the most vulnerable are the, uh, uh, the old uh, the senior senior people uh, but also I, I also I have the same question again Jordan how it arrived to Jordan I know that it arrived with it came to Jordan with the uh, travelers who are coming from uh, Spain, Italy. The first case uh, registered in Jordan, recorded in Jordan, was uh, of a guy, of a Jordanian national, uh, arriving from Italy. So, I don't know. Uh, but also there is an, another uh, uh, question and inquiry to the consent. We are in 2020, 2020. With all that gigantic and big uh, advances 
in medicine, in science. And the coronavirus is one of the coronaviruses. It's one of them, as we learned. But why the people concerned, why the scientists, why the, the people in the, the lab laboratories around the world, they did not uh, do anything to this virus, to stop it, at least. Thank you very much for telling us about social distancing, about sneezing, all these, uh, all these uh, precautions to be taken to, into account. Thank you very much. The scientists were able to tell us and inform us that we should keep distant from each other. We should uh, sneeze into elbow like that uh, or in a tissue. Uh, thank you so much, but we still need the, the vaccine. We still need the vaccine. And I am thankful and grateful to all uh, educated people and scientists and doctors, uh, medical staff, staff nurses, uh, healthcare uh, people. I am very grateful around the world. I'm very grateful to them. But really, we need a vaccine. We need... Uh, uh, to, to, to treat the sick now and then prevent the virus from, uh, from spreading. It's very, very important. And I am thankful to all of you for watching. Please do me a favor. Subscribe below and like my video. And you're going to get very good uh, content in the future. But when I, uh, when I um, appear in videos, I want always my, my words to be touching, to be really uh, very important to you. Not just talking, talking, talking. I want to be really very helpful. And please suggest me what you want me to talk, or maybe you don't want me to talk at all. Thank you so much. See you in the next times. Bye-bye.